Splashback 13.7, Friends and Diamonds Are Forever, Part 7. We had it all and had everything to lose. So, we were on our way back to America, flying from Athlone, Ireland, following my escape from unjust captivity in the Scottsdale Psychiatric Prison for the Criminally Insane, and subsequently from finding Mr. Lesky encased in a crystalline substance with ice and frost freeze everywhere, suspending him in time. We were flying in our Knights Templar KT branded cargo plane with its Faraday cage and thermal disruptor jamming systems all activated, blocking electronic and human or animal heat detection, interference, and eavesdropping. As an aside, I do have to say, it seemed pointless to have the Faraday cage and thermal disruptors on during our entire flight. But I guess, well, we had to be smart, prudent, and safe, and we had them, so I guess why not? And I guess it was just what Tiny and Sarah did whenever they flew. They hid behind their Faraday cage and thermal disruptors. Well, anyway, back to where we were. We had, in the plane's customized parking bay, in its underbelly back of the plane, our Ford Expedition black government-like van for our Knights Templar Master of Transport, Knights Templar driver, Tiny. It remained a marvel to me that we had a flying home with us and it garaged an SUV. It was a marvel. Tiny, whatever his name really was, he was simply Knights Templar Tiny, Master of Transport. Well, I guess I'll just joke. Tiny was his name, oh. Yeah, I can't sing. Yep, that was his name, Tiny. Unless you added Knight to his name, Knight Tiny, his simple name might seem that it matched his simple demeanor, but it did not match his deep and complex character. Indeed, Tiny has proven to us to be deeply sensitive and caring and one of the most high integrity, loyal and faithful people I've ever met. You would be grossly mistaken to judge Tiny by his cover, by his simple but tough-looking, scary appearance. You would never see his heart of gold and his commitment to only doing righteous things. Well, back to us in the travel. The team in our flying RV home base, yes, again, we were cool. We flew around the world with our black Ford Expedition in our retrofitted customized cargo plane that doubled as our flying recreational vehicle RV, which also had hidden caches of gear and money and medical supplies throughout. And again, it had those incognito electronic and heat jamming systems. And despite its KT little emblems on the plane's exterior, its outside looked poorly maintained, adding to its under the radar appearance and intent. The KT cargo plane was, I guess, the best home base we could have ever imagined given that we were hunted worldwide. All things considered, we had it all. We had our own air and ground transportation, a flying cargo plane RV, Ford Expedition, secret cash compartments, jamming technologies. We had seemingly unlimited money in offshore untraceable accounts from my inheritance, the Knights Templar's accounts, and plundered cash, gold and diamonds from the cult. We had fake identities and supporting credit cards and bank accounts. Once more, thanks to Midnight and Associates, AKA the Knights Templar Illuminati. We had more caches of money, weapons and munitions all over the world. 
And that law firm, Midnight and Associates, was the front for a secret headquarters as well we've talked about deep down beneath Castle Athlone's museum in its basement and catacombs. And they had celestial relics in those underground headquarter catacombs. One such was a round table. There was a telephone to the angels. Apparently it was made from a meteor from God. And allegedly many celestial relics locked deep within the catacombs were further available should we ever need them. Of course, not now that they're locked in frost and ice. They gave us a list of cult targets throughout the world. They helped me realize who the puppets of hell were and who the seven princes of hell were that controlled them. They explained all about the devil Baal. And with all of our adventuring and training, we have become far more seasoned and trained. We were a much better fused team with skill and knowledge from the Knights Templar. Sure, we had to admit we could all die at any moment, but we were, we are on a mission for God. And we were all set to bring the hammer down on the devil. We are going to bring the hammer down on the devil. <laughs>